But first, we have breaking news. A little over an hour ago, the union representing nurses at Rhode Island and Hasbro Children's Hospitals voted to move forward with a strike. Union members overwhelmingly rejected the latest contract offer from Lifespan tonight. This means more than 2,000 employees will likely walk out on Monday afternoon. And it's a tense situation tonight. Both sides responding with their own statements. First, from the nurses union. They tell Iowa Just News, quote, after counting all the ballots, UNAP nurses, technologists, and therapists have overwhelmingly decided that this union will not be bullied, threatened, or disrespected by an out-of-touch management team. The strike is on and will commence Monday, July 23rd at 3 p.m. Lifespan also reacting to the news tonight saying, quote, as we face a work stoppage by UNAP, the hospital has work continuation plan in place. We are prepared to continue our inpatient and outpatient services as usual. Rhode Island Hospital will have temporary nurses and technical professionals here on Monday, July 23rd at 3 p.m. through Friday, July 27th at 3 p.m. to care for patients. Lifespan is spending upwards of $10 million for those replacement workers. Prior to this decision, we talked with the Department of Health about how they've been bracing for a strike and what impact this may have on patients. Iowa News News reporter Sheena Lasciuto joins us now live in studio with the latest developments. Sheena. Mike Shannon, that's right. The hospital has already paid to hire temporary temporary staff members and lifespan confirmed to us training began today for more than 100 people. The Department of Health says they've been preparing for this strike for more than a month. As the clock is ticking, more time is being spent preparing for a strike. Your safety and quality are absolute priorities for the Department of Health. The United Nurses and Allied Professionals Union representing nurses and other staff members at both Rhode Island and Hasbro Children's Hospitals issued a strike notice after rejecting a three-year contract offer from Lifespan, the hospital's parent company. The Department of Health has been overseeing the process. A spokesperson uh, said Thursday, situation. both hospitals have submitted a plan. It's our expectation and it's a requirement that um, the hospitals um, are doing this coordination, are doing this planning. Lifespan says it's spending $10 million to hire temporary workers, and the state has been working to make sure they're qualified. The Department of Health also licenses healthcare providers, so we've processed more than a thousand licenses for people who are going to be coming in, um, from, many of them from out of state, to ensure that uh, quality, safe care continues to be provided. Officials tell Eyewitness News in situations like this, the Department of Health's role is to hold the hospitals accountable and make sure patients continue receiving the care they need. And we work with hospitals on potential challenges really year round. And we're told members of the Department of Health will be on site to assess the situation Monday and make sure patients are not impacted. I'm Sheena Lushudo, Eyewitness News.